What if I told you that, that I keep getting told that all of this is just a movie? What if I told you that all of this shit was just a movie and that everything the celebrities are doing in accordance to what the Democrats are asking is literally just a simulation of a movie? However, not everyone's in on the fact that it's a movie. What would you say about that? Or would you even care is a real question. Would you even care? According to Gary Vaynerchuk, he don't even care. Every new piece of content you produce has nothing to do with anyone except the filthy rich. Literally the biggest scumbags on the fucking earth are all over the fucking internet in your fucking faces. And all you have the audacity to say is, where's my vag nuggets? Spread them wide and let everyone see your big tits and your big asshole while you go to another fucking fancy party while you brag about how you're in fucking Europe. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris gives her big Hollywood smile and says, we're going to give all the money to the migrants. While Hollywood celebrities say, well, we're going to get 70,000 tax cut dollars from Donald Trump. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't fucking think so. The only reason you're getting $70,000 in tax cuts is just because you're sending your money over to the damn Cayman Islands. That's called a fucking lie. That's criminal activity, is it not? If someone's supporting a candidate based on the fact that they're actually going to get a movie role, what does that fucking tell you? How disrespectful of the anti-American Hollywood system to fucking destroy our fucking lives so that they can be in a movie role, Ben Stiller. So that they can provocatively prance around on the red carpet and smile big. Gary V, you're so friendly. Look at how rich you are in your hotel with your whitewashed walls and your white fucking t-shirt. Yeah, that shit don't work with me. How many more years are we going to have to tolerate the violent abuse of what you all are willing to do for a fucking movie role? The question is, is when's the fucking wedding, Gary V? Because we are sitting here with our, our white outfits on waiting to hear when Mona Van's going to walk down the fucking aisle in your fucking movie role. When are you going to walk down the fucking aisle so that I can really be done with your fucking ass to prove what a scumbag you actually are? Oh yeah, the red scarf. No, fuck you, Taylor Swift, and your dumb ass music. You do know that song is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life, right? Every one of these women you call wives and girlfriends are destroying the planet. Every photograph, every video, every prance in another fucking fancy outfit where you glor glorify her and say, Pookie, you're so beautiful. Pookie, you're so beautiful. Look at how fat you are with that pregnant belly. You can't possibly in your right fucking mind think that that's entertainment or a valuable relationship, or worth watching. But Ben Stiller actually thinks it's worth watching because he too is supporting the Democratic Party to destroy the rest of our lives. So apparently, the only people voting for Democrats are migrants, Hollywood, and influencers like Gary Vee and Mona Van, who ain't even American. So we are being overrun and our country is being destroyed. But Gary Vee is such a nice guy. Gary Vee, you're so
so fucking nice. Look how friendly you are. Look at Kamala Harris's daughter on the street posing for photographers. That ain't normal. But Kamala says it is normal. So that's the new modern day politics is what AOC, Newsom, um, Motivan are offering, which are modeling where they're saying, um, do this and do that. And she's like, um, thanks. I wish you could really step out of your fucking delusional existence to watch yourself be humiliated in your role of this movie role because you are fucking pathetic. My wish in my life is that you could be aware of how embarrassing that you all actually are. My wish, if I believed in wishes, would be that you would actually recognize and hold accountability, at least hold the level of karma accountability in your physical body and feel the pain in all the pain that you've put on other people. I wish, Monavan, that you would feel that pain for the rest of your existence. I wish all the Middle Eastern people would feel the pain of what they put on other people. Karma is a fucking bitch, ain't it? I wish you could feel all the karmic pain that you, Dustin, and you, Kamala Harris, and you, Tim Walls, have put on other people. I wish the entire globe would feel it. And that goes for you too, news media. And you, influencers. And I wish all the people viewing, all these people performing in the role of the movie would wake up to what's actually going on to feel the pain that they are being received by the actors and actresses such as Kerry Washington. I want all of you in Kamala Harris's rallies to feel the pain that Kamala Harris brings when she says joy and happiness and laughs and waves and points. My wish is that each and every one of you vulgar human beings who spread your legs wide like Mona Van does in every fucking photograph session that she creates... That you would feel the pain of the audience. That every person out there could see the truth about what Mona Van is offering in her conversation around Eat Clean. I wish each and every one of you could see the kind of mother that Heather Lamusa actually is, who Addie McCracken actually is, and who Paris Hilton actually is. And really feel the pain of what it is to be around a Paris Hilton and Addie McCracken. I want you to feel the pain. And then I wish you would actually do something about it because you are all weak ass people who don't want to take action. You want to say, oh no, she's just so beautiful. What a beautiful day out. I mean, how many times are you going to have to say so cute? What a beautiful day out. How many times, Brady, are you going to say what a beautiful day out? How cute. Addie, how many times are you going to say how cute? And how many times are we going to have to listen to Kamala Harris scream and yell about joy and happiness? And we don't want to hear out your mouth, Donald Trump's name ever again, because she's capitalizing off of the structure and strength of Donald Trump. Oh, you don't get a free ride in this world, motherfuckers. None of you will get a free ride, motherfuckers, and that's why you're here on the fucking planet. So it's my intention to make sure you know that. Life's a bitch and then you die. The only thing you can count on is taxes and death. 